Good morning, my name is Miss Middleton. This is a fifth grade class at Holiday Elementary School and this morning we are doing a science lesson on plate tectonics. So boys and girls, today we are going to be talking about how the earth has changed over time. And our goal for the lesson today is that you are gonna be able to use some fossil evidence to try and figure out what the earth might have looked like 290 million years ago. Remember how we talked about that? So what is causing the Earth to change? So let's like a look at our world map. What do you notice about the map when you see it? What do you notice about the continents, the shapes of the continents? What do you think, Abby? Um, each continent is like very far away from each other. Okay, so they're far away from one another. What else do you notice about the continents? Okay, so they're separate. She says they're separate in a way where you kind of could put them together. Do you notice anything in particular, like any examples of that that you see? Um, I think South America, you might be able to kind of like put it right there in between Mexico and Canada. Okay, so like it could kind of maybe be up there a little bit. Okay, very good. So what we're going to talk about is actually a scientist. His name was Alfred Wegener. He had this idea. He noticed that same thing that you noticed. That the continents kind of look almost like a puzzle. Um, but he didn't have a lot of evidence to back it up. But now, there, the scientists later uh, like found other evidence that they could use. Fossil evidence of plants and animals. So, do you remember what we call that supercontinent that they believe when all the continents were put together? Everybody, what was that called? Pangea, right? So they called that Pangea. So um, other people, other scientists had noticed that same thing, and then they found evidence that maybe supported this idea about these plate tectonics are maybe moving and shifting, and that's caused the continents to move. Think about what we know about the Earth. What's happening under the surface of the Earth that's causing those, those plate tectonics to move? What kind of energy is, is it? Say it louder. Thermal energy. What is thermal energy? Heat. Heat energy, right? So remember we did that experiment with the graham crackers and the icing, and the icing represents that magma, that heat that, that's moving, which is causing the, cause the graham crackers, the plate tectonics, to be shifting a bit, right? So like I said, today you're going to be looking at the continents and some fossil evidence to see if you can recreate Pangea. Sound good? And you're going to kind of take notes about what you're noticing and what you're wondering while you're doing it. And we're going to come back together and see if we kind of come up with the same thing. You're going to be working with your academic teams. Remember your teams from yesterday? Mm -hmm. So you're going to be working with your academic teams. And I'm going to give you all a bag that has nine pieces in it. Now, the first piece to look at is one of the most important pieces. You'll be able to find it because it's a rectangle, okay? And it is basically your fossil evidence key. So it has a picture on here that tells you the kind of fossil that was found, and then, then it lists it beside you, or beside it. So it says, one of them says the European flora. Do you know what flora means? It means it's plants. Plants, very good. So if it says flora, that just means it's plants. So it's got reptile, reptile, plant, reptile, and then mountains, okay? So you have plant fossils, animal fossils, and different landforms. And what you'll notice on each of your pieces is that see how this piece has different fossil evidence? So you'll use the key to figure out what kind of fossil that is, and you'll look on the other pieces to see if you can find these same types of fossils on other continents. When you and your group think you've got a pretty good idea of what Pangea might have looked like, one person from your group is going to get their whiteboard, and one person from your group is going to come to me to get some tape, and you're going to kind of tape your, your pieces down on your whiteboard. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, as a reminder, you'll get one bag, one person will have their whiteboard, and you'll recreate Pangea using these puzzle pieces, and then you'll come to me for some tape when you think you've got a pretty good idea of what it looks like, okay? Um, as you're constructing Pangea, or after you get it constructed even, you're going to have a documentation sheet where you're gonna write down what do you notice and what do you wonder, okay? I'm only gonna give one sheet per team, 
okay? So you think about who has beautiful handwriting that wants to write this down in like just a couple of things, maybe two or three things that you notice and two or th three things that you're wondering about. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to work in your teams before we come back together and we discuss. When we come back together, I want you to bring your whiteboard with your Pangea on it so we can talk about similarities and differences and things that we discovered, okay? If you finish and you have extra time, I have two videos in Discovery Ed assigned to you that are about Pangea and plate tectonics, so you can be watching those while you're waiting for everyone to finish up. Sound good? Okay. Yes. Okay, so the, the, the Crinophosiborus, I don't know how to say that, reptile, is over there, but it's also in India, and right there, and what I believe to be Australia. I don't see United States in India. Why is India labeled? I don't know. This kind of looks like the United States. Mm -hmm. Can I just cut this part off? What are you thinking when you see this? What, what are some similarities? That's some of them are like, like the same stuff, uh -huh. like trees and same animals. What does this stand for here? Look at your key here. Uh, Alpine Mountains. Alpine Mountains, yeah. So this right here is Alpine Mountains, and so are this. So is that? Mm hmm. Yeah, you're just trying to kind of get an idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This goes somewhere here, like, like that, something like that. Hmm. Where would India go? What do you see? Oh, well, it is here, these parts. Maybe it's in the middle. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Talk with each other what you're thinking about. What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that I don't think India goes. Where could it go? Where do you think it could go that would make sense? Well, around yeah. around there somewhere? Okay. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just keep it there for now. These two definitely go together. Think about the plate tectonics, right? Some of that's under the ocean, so we don't know where it's going to necessarily match up. So I think this is—I yeah. think you're off to a good start here. Okay, so keep going, keep going. So the 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 the, the, the floral thingies, Russia. and then the and then these thingies. So that I don't think that's going to work. Um, India could go over there like that. What do you think? Talk to each other. What are you thinking? What do you see here, Louise? Tell your group what you got. Okay, the mountains. What's that? Cyanagopus <coughs> reptile. Maybe is that the reptile? I can't really tell what's on your paper. Or at least it's so small. Oh no no, it looks like it's a plant, right? You see that? Do you see the match here? Looks like it's this one, right? That flora? Okay. And then the Alpine Mountains? All right, so where else do you see these two things? Okay. So all three of those have similar things on them, right? So maybe how can you arrange those? Right here, we can see that, like, the 
bushes, like a kind of good. Yeah, yeah, that looks really good right there. So we're just trying to figure out like where this is going. To yeah. Be. I think. You can see scientists have a pretty tricky job here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Why'd you kick that out? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. Well, is it going to fit perfectly like a puzzle? Mm -hmm. Also, I could I didn't cut it all the way out there, right? So uh, let's try this bunch of white pieces. Yeah, I mean, let's think about it. If let's say what's on where's your key? Right there. Okay. Well, no, you look at it. What is this picture representing? Uh, European, European flora. Remember, flora is like plants. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, is it possible that it could be over here and over here? Yeah. yeah. It, so, it could be if it's connected and this mountain range. I think you have a good start here. Where do you think this piece should go? Talk about that. Because that has the flora and the mountain range as well. Where would you put that? Um, here? Somewhere here? Try it. Yeah. It's not going to be like you're putting a jigsaw puzzle together, okay? You're just trying to see what, what are some of the similar shapes and similar fossil evidence. Remember, this is the flora that they found on these two continents. All right. Well, what, what are your thoughts about this? How did you feel? During this process, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Did you guys feel similarly? Yeah. Jonathan, what else? A little confusing. It was a it was a challenging task I was asking you to do. Do the pieces fit perfectly together? No. They don't. They're, it's not like you're putting together an actual puzzle. Why don't they fit perfectly together? <coughs> what do you think? What do you think, Abby? Maybe so. Did you hear what she said? Mm -hmm. What did she say? Can you repeat it for me? Yeah. Jonathan, what'd she say? Like, time, oh, okay, so maybe, and I heard Jordan said something about weathering happening with the plate tectonics. So all of those things are going to impact the shape of the planets. Where did you find the shape of the planets to be helpful in some cases? Yeah. Yes. What could, did you find, Ozzy, we were talking, what were the two continents that you said like kind of fit really close together? So South America and Africa. So see how he has like this part of South America kind of tucked in here with Africa and the shape really helped figure that one out. But then were you able to use the fossil evidence for some of the pieces that you weren't sure about? Yeah. Why would it make sense that if there's an alpine mountain on this continent over here, that, and there's an alpine mountain on this continent over here, what would kind of make sense about a long time ago? They were probably what? They were probably close together. They were together, right? So as those plate tectonics are moving and shifting, they gradually moved apart but they, there's evidence that they were maybe once together. So the Earth is always changing, right? Okay. Do you have anything on your section of your chart where it says, we wonder? Is there anything you're still wondering about as now, now that we've done this? Anything you're wondering about, Abby? Um, I don't know if like That's okay. Uh huh. Oh, that's a great question. So she's asking about islands, right? And w how did those happen? Great question. You should, we'll investigate that a little bit later. Stephanie, what else are you wondering about? Um, I wonder when the animals are uh, distinct. Okay, so these animals that are on here? Okay, so when did they exist? At what time period? Because we know we found their fossils, so we can maybe look at the fossils and see that. Any other things that you're wondering about? Okay, I just want to see, is it possible for you to, oh, go ahead, yes. When did it start to separate? Okay, so when do they think that it started to first separate? Okay, here's what I'd like for you to do, maybe. 
<laughs> is. I'd like for each group, if your Pangea is taped onto your whiteboard, what I'd kind of like to do is for us to display them on up here. So if you're able to kind of get it set, so we can kind of see, do you think everyone's is going to look exactly the same? No, I wouldn't expect so because we're all going to have different thoughts and ideas about that. So I think it'll be okay. We'll kind of notice the similarities and the differences. So can one person from your team make sure that your Pangea is secure? And would you just bring it up here and place it on the ledge there so we can take a look? Sorry. And we'll probably notice some are similar, right? Some things will be the same. Looking good. Do you need another piece of tape? Yeah. Maybe. You all good? Okay. Oh, thank you, Edgar. All right. Here, I'll secure it with this. All right. So do you notice, I mean, are you looking at other teams and seeing kind of what they have going on? Looking similar or different? Yeah? Okay. Do you feel like you have a pretty good understanding of how we can recreate how Pangea maybe looked a long time ago? How scientists did it? Do you have an idea of how scientists maybe came up with this idea? Okay, good. Because that was our goal for today, that we were able to recreate what Pangea might have looked like, right? Are we going to be able to know for sure? No, we're not going to be able to figure out for sure, but I think we have a pretty good idea of some things that would have gone together. Thank you for joining us for our lesson on plate tectonics today. Go Hawks!